Yes, yes. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Monday afternoon build stream, you guys. Just quick shout out to Vape and Jedi in the chat. Try not to trigger someone today. Fat chance, <laughs> fat chance of that, Vape and Jedi. It's basically what I do. I'm a professional build triggerer, I guess. But uh, welcome, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Trying to get this Monday started off in the right direction. I just want to give everybody a heads up. I'm, I'm, I'm moving a little bit slow today, just a little bit slow off the line. I got my second uh, Bill Gates microchip dose on Saturday. I felt great Saturday. Sunday felt terrible, just the worst. I was just mopey and sweating and like hot and cold and chills and body aches and it was a bad scene. And then today I woke up and I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good, but I'm still feeling just a little bit slow. So hopefully you guys can uh, can hang out and uh, watch me slowly install some coils. We have some, uh, today we have what I'm considering some of my like top tier, top level RDAs. What up JP? What up PSS? What up New Wave Dave? What up Caesar? Appreciate you guys being here. David, I see you there. Though by nothing gets by though by appreciate you being here anyway today i'm sorry we have uh some of just a few of what i consider to be my personal like legendary top tier upper echelon rdas that are just bangers top to bottom side to side inhale exhale bangers just banger rdas it's going to be interesting to go back through some of these today, I think, uh, including, let me just do a quick rundown for you guys. Kennedy, this is the Kennedy 24 millimeter in three post version. I think this is where we're gonna start. I think we're gonna start with the Kennedy 24 three post, but we also have uh, the Reload, the original Reload RDA. We have the Sub Ohm Innovations Sub Zero RDA. Hey man, hey Daz, Dazmans. Hey man, hey Dazmans, hey mans. We, uh, sorry, we, <laughs> Sub Ohm Innovation Sub Zero RDA, little 22 millimeter flavor banging machine. And then Recoil Rebel. And really, the Recoil Rebel is up here because A, it is one of my legendary atomizers that I completely love into the ground, but it is the, the only atomizer that my wife uses. She drips with uh, usually like a hex ohm into the recoil rebel it's just her favorite rda she loves it uh we're gonna and we're gonna put new build in it today and that should be really really fun like i said it's gonna be interesting going back and trying some of these because i haven't tried a kennedy three post in a really long time i have not tried this banger right here the reload rda in quite a long time in fact look at these o-rings on this reload I have shredded these O-rings on these reload. That's bananas. Hang on a sec. I saw a couple super chats come in. Uh, Terry J, he was the first one out of the gate. Then we had Vape and Jedi. Use some UK Cloud Cartel coils. Of course, uh, I had some set aside for this very purpose. Can you see this? Cloud Cartel. Cloud Cartel from the UK, Vape and Jedi. Uh, Truck and Cloud says, please no yelling. Been waking up in cold sweats to someone screaming Bradley all weekend. Oh, okay. That's right. We're going to keep the <laughs> We're going to keep this. No yelling. Bradley, if you're watching, no yelling. Bradley. Uh, Cull, how are you doing? Using my Kennedy and recoil right now. Dang. You want to come on the stream and show me how to build them? You want to come on the stream and show me how to build them? So I have some, I have some coils set aside for this three post, and I haven't built on a three post in a really, really, really long time. So I'm uh, worried about it because modern coils. I mean, even taking a look at like, uh, what are these? Not breeze tones, not uh, those, but like here, these. These cloud cartel coils here. How do I get these out of here? There's a stopper on top. A, a coil like this is not going to fit in a Kennedy three post. You're never going to fit an alien, like a six wrap alien in it because you have to go from positive to negative and positive to negative. And your, your lead from here to here, 
that's not much room. That's not much room. So you had to install them and then push them kind of over to center. I was overjoyed later this same year when Steve Kennedy released a uh, two-post version of this RDA, and then it was finally like, oh, okay, this is like the supreme, the supreme Kennedy. Yo, yo, Peridot Vapes. A huge shout out to Peridot Vapes for the uh, Typhon. I'm, I'm in love with this atomizer, my man. Love, in love. I'm going to take it out. We're getting married. Loving this atomizer. Shout out to PSS. Shout out to Poon Sauce for helping me set this up. I, I love this. Love this tank. Loving it. It's all I vaped all weekend. On the black mix, forget about it. Forget about all of it. But it's not about that. What we're doing right now is we're going to try to put a build on this Kennedy 3 post. Should be pretty freaking interesting. People are definitely going to get triggered. Um, one of the controversies of this particular RDA was the use of copper on the inside. The positive pin was all copper on the inside, and uh, people didn't like that. You know, it gets uh, corroded sometimes in there, right? It gets uh, build up and corrosion on it. It sort of starts patinaing a little bit. Sometimes it would leap to your coils. Sometimes it would turn your cotton green if you didn't keep it clean. It was just kind of one of those things. Uh, yes, yes, uh, velocity. Um, the velocity was supposed to be in this build stream. It was, and I promise, but my velocity is all jacked and I don't know what's wrong with it. My, it, has a, it has a squonk pin installed on it and the positive post, you know, the positive post with the two holes is all crazy wobbly and I can't tighten anything down to make that wobble go away. And so I think I need to take it apart and start from scratch and like try to put it back together. But there was supposed to be a velocity in this stream today. But use MTL coils in the three post Kennedy. We're not that far off. We're, we're thinking very similarly. What I have, uh, Moak Vapes. Uh, Moke Vapes was around very, very briefly. Uh, he was very, very kind to me and sent me a whole mess of coils that I really loved using. And these were his Series Fused Claptons. Series Fused Claptons. Looking at these Series Fused Claptons, I think these are just the right size to go into this little Kennedy. I think they're actually going to be the perfect size. But yeah, you're not getting a... Uh, you're not getting that coil in there until the two post comes out, which is still from the release of this a few months, a few months away. Now, I think I saw some super chats come in there using the Kennedy and recoil right now. That's right. Uh, Eric, please bring back the recoil. The, uh, you want the OG recoil, Eric, or are you after the uh, rebel? Are you rebellious? Are you rebellious? Or are, you, are you a conformist? Uh, just saying, uh, just tagging in to say hello. Build on vaping case, bro. Build on, brother. I uh, thank you. I appreciate that very much, vaping case. Let's get to it. Let's just put some coils in here. So we're gonna use. I'm thinking these are three millimeters, right? Oh, please be three millimeters, Moke. Three millimeters. Yep. We got some three millimeter coils right here that I think I'm gonna be able to put in there easily and get them centered without much, uh, without much. So he, there's a trick to three posts. There's actually a trick to most RDAs when before builders started uh, crimping their leads and you had one lead that was a little bit higher and one lead that was a little bit lower like this more traditionally wrapped. You always put the one with the leg going over the top on the negative side so that it opens that side up for cotton and you put the lower side in through the center post. Don't when we get to the recoil when we get to the recoil rebel, we're going to talk about this more too. Oh, this might not be enough. Damn. Uh, I might have to remove a wrap. We'll see. We'll see. No, nope, I think this is going to work. So yeah, that's in there and it's super janky. As soon as we tighten down these uh, screws though, we'll be able to uh, position this 
because it's all about positioning. Once upon a time, there were RDAs. I mean, I guess there still are RDAs. Seems like RDAs, you know, obviously have gotten much easier and easier to use and build and install things. And so you get RDAs now where it's like, oh, you just put like the dang, like you just put your leads in, screw it down. They're already positioned. You don't have to move them around. You don't have to grab them and like, oh, like crank them over to the center like you did on these old three posts. Everybody stay hydrated out there. Everybody stay hydrated out there. No, these are uh, fused Claptons. These are fused Claptons for anybody asking. This is what we're using. The Moke Vapes fused Clapton. Shout out Moke Vapes. I haven't heard from you in literally forever, buddy, but I hope you're doing good. All right. So all I'm going to do is screw down the, the negative lead. That's all I can do right now, really. We're going to have to do some pre-clipping of leads, and that's the bummer part. We're going to have to pre-clip the center. In fact, I don't know why I have it on this view. Let's just go full uppy closey, you guys. Full on uppy closey. This lead can easily get cut. That's not the issue. The issue is that center lead. So now we're going to have to pre-clip the center lead on this one so that it doesn't stick out the other side. So that it doesn't stick out the other side and hit any other like posts or coils or anything like that. All right. This is so far we're doing really good on this. Uh, Blackhawk 2029, how you doing? Being an MTL guy, you should try out the Cree RTA. It's banging for mouth to lung, restricted direct lung, and it's big brother, the Cree 24. It's a great direct lung, restricted direct lung, flavor bangers. Cree. Uh, I, I've heard of the Cree. Uh, I, I've never tried them. What's blowing my mind, I mean, and not really blowing my mind, it's something that is, I'm actually having a, a lot of fun with is over the years, you know, in the world of, in my world, in this world of Grim Green, it's like, go, go, go. There's a new product, go, get it, review it, get it, review it. And it's like, if something came out and then didn't get to me and didn't come across my desk, it's like, nope, that's it. It's just, you know, it's past. I can't go back to that, forever gone. I'm always looking forward. It's like, go, go, go. And now I actually have the chance to like, what did I miss? What did, I'm going to go back and, and find all the great stuff that I missed and revisit it now that I can like, like take a little bit of a breath. It's been uh, really, truly very fun. Really, very, very fun. Because it's crazy the amount of vape gear that I haven't used that is awesome. And the, I think that Typhon GT is a perfect example, perfect example of that. Just a friendly reminder, not cut your leads facing another person. Well, look, if you, ha you have your vape etiquette, I have mine. I aim my leads at people directly. So think about that, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Vapor. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Why would I wouldn't do that. All right, so let's try to get this in. That's what she said. Let's try to get it in. almost there holy crap I did this almost perfectly I just need to take like a millimeter off of this center lead not even that like a half a millimeter off of the center lead and it's gonna be flawless oh yeah I can do the scoop you used to have to do the scoop. Does anybody remember the scoop? Okay, there was a time. Can you see this lead? You see how this lead back here, it's like, whoop, is there's like a dip to it? On the old tugboat RDAs, and it used to work on this too, when you'd use round wires, you'd make your leads into like these scoops and you could just whoop, like scoop them into the holes. It was the most satisfying little, little thing, the scoop technique. I bet we can scoop this. And the reason for the scoop technique was 
exactly as you're going to see right here, this rim. There was a rim. And so this lead has to come up over that if it's going to go anywhere, right? So, ugh, you got to get it out. Okay. Holy crap, this is going perfectly. I'm so excited. Holy crap. Okay, this was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I thought this was the one I was going to struggle with the most. But I'm definitely not. Maybe I remember how to build on a three post quicker than like a two post. Could you imagine that? Both those leads are down in there, dude. That's great. We're not in the home stretch by any means. Look how janky that looks, okay? A, don't rate this right now because everyone's going to put a two in the chat. Everyone's going to put a two in the chat. I can just feel it coming. But we're off to a great start. Believe it or not, this is exactly where I want to be. Just with the most j janky jacked up coils of all time but look it's not going to be that difficult here's what we can do already looking better right already looking better man that is so dumb the three post design is just so bad and it would have been different if Steve put put them like, you know, put the air flows off center because you that's what you have to do. You have to crank your coil two out of 10. It's great because I see Swamp Thing giving me a two out of 10. He's being honest and I see Nephiron trying to kiss my ass and give me a 10 out of 10. I prefer, <laughs> just kidding. I prefer Swamp Thing's honesty. 42 out of 10, I appreciate that, John. That's a, that's very much too gracious. The sleeper, yeah, sleeper would have been good for this. Sleeper coil would have been good for this Cherokee Vapor. So uh, a sleeper coil is a real old school idea. Real old school. The idea was you'd build a coil on this side and then your center lead would continue through and then the coil would wrap again on the other side and go like that. So it was one continuous piece of wire right through the middle, they called those sleeper builds. I think that's as centered as I'm gonna get these. That's kind of an unfortunate, uh, that's kind of an unfortunate thing. It's the most I'm gonna get these center, I think. Let's see what the resistance came out to at least. All right, we need to do a hard reset here reading the point two and it's like no i know that's not correct i know that's not correct marty guy what do you have to say uh sending again rebuilt rebuilt rebuild duh a dse 901 or the old pure smokers rig i have one summer remember ruyan direct which was now heaven's gifts marty guy hell yeah how old school are you marty guy how old school are you yeah ruyan direct I remember Ruyan Direct. Okay, I'm gonna go full Russian hacker real quick, and I'm just gonna pull this up to my face so I can make sure that these are. Uh... So they're reading a point two right now, and that's okay. I'm gonna try to get them glowing. Although this coil, I don't like it. I don't like what what's going on right there. It, that just has to exist because you have to push them to center. All right. Well, I think that's as good as it's getting. I this one is too far out. Uh, and this one actually, they both look pretty good. I'm not disappointed with these in any way. They're as close to over the airflow as they possibly can be without thoroughly jacking your leads up. 
It's important IMO to center them first before you kind of start glowing them or anything like that because if you get them glowing and then you have to center them, it's going to jack them. It's going to jack them straight up. Let's see what we can do here. I can see where there's going to be hot spots. I can kind of predict them. Yeah, there. Yep. These screws were not quite screwed down all the way. I, I'm careful because on the old Kennedys, man, if you screwed your screw too, <laughs> too screwed, you, it would clip your leads. Clip your leads often. That lead is so jacked. Get this. It's going to vape. It might look jacked. Man, three posts. Okay, okay. Okay, hang on. I think we're six I think we're succeeding. Oh, definitely. All right. I'm going to take this off of here. Ugh. Yeah. It's going to burn my hands. Where's my re where's my Kennedy cap? Okay, look, I'm not getting very far on this Kennedy if I can't find the cap for it. Oh, here it is. Let this cool down while I swap these batteries out. I'll cool this down while I swap my batteries out because I want to get an you know an accurate resistance. But it was kind of a bitch to build. <laughs> I was overjoyed. You guys don't understand how overjoyed I was when Kennedy released the two post 24 millimeter. Going from the three post to the two post, it was like this is what this is what I've always wanted my Kennedy to be. This is what I've always wanted it to vape like. This is how I've always wanted to install the coils because of the airflow. Instead of installing them on the side and pushing them over, two posts. Ah, two posts. If the music's too loud or, or too quiet, just let me know. Uh, if there's not enough uh, dry oatmeal, let face meet now. Is there? Oh, there seems to be enough. Okay, good. I was, I was worried about our dry oatmeal supplies. I know that the uh, reserves have been taken down quite a long way with the uh, what with the dry oatmeal shortage and all this. Okay. Let's see what we're, what we're resisting. 0 0.38. 0 0.38. Perfect. Perfection. This is a series worthy build. So it's honestly gonna be really good on like a regulated mod. In fact, I'm gonna put this on a hex ohm. I have a hex ohm somewhere. Or white, goat or white, goat or white, <laughs> goat or white, goat or white, goat or white. I think it's gonna look pretty banging on the on the goat, like on the black one. But because it, it does only have like a stainless steel. If I had a white drip tip, maybe. 
I don't even know. I think we're gonna go with the black on black hot hot goat action. That's just where I feel like we should end up. But look, I wanna be equal opportunity. Turn the tunes up a notch, handgun patriot. Alright, I can do that. The white just looks sick with the white and the grim army and the white, but this do this doesn't really fit. If I had a white drip tip, if I had a white 810, then we'd really have something there, you know? Here, this might work. Here, does this work on here? Nope, that's not an 810, damn it. Damn it, man! Damn it, man! Can you fit? Okay, that's kind of white. Is that too much? You want to go white with the marbly white drip tip? That's the that's the only matchy drip tip I have really that's gonna do anything. It's gonna be worth a damn. Oh, here, this one might fit. That's a wonky drip tip. I think I'm gonna go back to the. <laughs> I think I'll go back to this one. All right, we're gonna rock it on a white hex. Sick. I'm excited. Oh yeah, this one was the one that uh, is impossible to open. <laughs> and you can tell it's impossible to open because I've always had to open it with a screwdriver and you can just see all of the chunks that I've taken out of the bottom of it. Constantly, constantly having to open it with a screwdriver. But yeah, re Marty Guy. Rebuilding that DSE 901? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... <laughs> uh, Seth says, finally caught a build stream. Rest in peace. Uh, Kennedy Steve was the man. Keep on rocking like Bran Daler. Yeah. Rest in peace, Steve Kennedy. Steve Kennedy is still alive. Uh, he's still alive. He's still kind of the man. His, it's, he's just not making atomizers. I don't want anybody to think that Steve Kennedy had passed away. Do you, do you remember when I had 18650s? I used to have a lot of 18650s, and now <laughs> I have substantially less 18650s. All right, so we're going to start it. Give me it. Oh. Glow. All right. Yeah, there we go. Okay. <sighs> Keep the hex home clean. It's white. Boosh. We should do these. We should do white hex homes with black engraved grim armies on the bottom, right? Like do a full trooper hex. Be sick. How long has this build taken me? 30 minutes, probably longer. That's fine. Uh, 33 minutes, dude, we're doing great on time. Yeah, 0.3 and up, this being a 0.38, I am uh, really excited about. I need more high resistant coils. To any of the coil builders out there, if you wanna really surprise me and impress me, <laughs> hit me up and let's do some uh, series fused Claptons. I need more series stuff. Higher resistant hexome stuff. I know Breeze Tone sent over some hex tones. Yeah, but I don't know where they ended up. No, I'm sure they're around here somewhere, you know. It's just uh you know. I lose things. Cause I don't keep track of them in the first place. That's how I lose them. If you wanna know. Just getting some cotton bacon. Prime to go through here. Frank, what up, Frank? Uh, wow, Grim, I'm vaping my two post Kennedy 24 with the Hexome as we speak. What a coincidence. What the, imagine that. You're a man of excellent fucking tastes. Excellent. You know, the Hexome is one of those things I'm always wanting to vape, um, but I always realize that my coils are like, you know, 0.09 or something, or like a 0.11. I'm like, okay, well, I can't run that on the hexome. I can't run this on the hexome, you know. And so the hexome just ends up sitting. And that's a huge bummer. And that's unacceptable. We're, that's why we're correcting this today. Wicked. Easily. Perfectly. Sign us all up for coils. Yes. Whoever... <laughs> 
I don't know why there isn't like a Coil of the Month Club. Why hasn't anybody done that yet? I feel like that's a million dollar idea just waiting. Coil of the Month Club. You get a set of coils every month. And it's a wide variety. It's like some you get, you know, you start off with Claptons, you'll get aliens, you get frame staples, you get naked frame staples. You can even charge someone a bit more and let them customize it every single month. And be like, no, this month I want it with 28 gauge core wire. I want 40 gauge aliened over it. And I want it framed with 26 gauge ribbon wire. You're like, yeah, fuck, that's cool. Duchess, you gonna start that up? Uh, I'm gonna thin this out a little bit for some reason, just because I f it felt like I stuffed a huge wad of cotton in here. And I don't like the way it, it just feels like a lot of cotton. And I know this is a little bit older of an RDA. It's got a little bit smaller of a juice well in there and I'm not trying to destroy it with cotton. Much better, much more excited about this. Let's get off the fuzzies. My vapes. What's up, peeps? My vapes. What's up, peeps? My vapes. My vapes. Mike Vapes is one of the coolest dudes in the world. He's just one of the coolest dudes in the community. My vapes. What's up, peeps? My vapes. Wicked. One hundred percent. Uh, look. I tried to get it as centered over the airflow as I possibly could. Centered as I possibly could, but you know the mic vapes under tickle. Uh, I couldn't quite do it. It's just, it's just a. I think it's a, a it's a fault of this design. Um, the e liquid that we're gonna put in here. Oh, what should we put in here? I had uh, Loki coils, yo yo to Loki coils. He sent me this a while ago, and it's called Lovecraft's Curse, three milligram from January, and I think this was a Yig clone. So, we're gonna try some Lovecraft, Lovecraft's Curse. Shout out to uh, Yo Yo to Loki Coils. It's either Loki Coils or Level 5 Loki. There's a few Lokis. Maybe it's, no, I think it's Loki Coils. I think this was from Loki. Yeah, a little bit of vapor is happening. Uh, let me crank this up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Oh, baby. Now, here's where I have to ask everybody a really, really important question. Eight out of 10 for speed. <laughs> Eight out of 10 for speed. Look, I'm trying to go as fast as I can. You want me to go faster? You want me to go faster? Okay, here's the serious question that I have to ask everybody, and I want you to be really very honest with me. When you're dripping, do you prefer to bleh through the middle like I do, or do you pop and paint your coils, similar to the way that I was just painting these coils. Are you a painter or are you a, are you a bleh-er? I bleh. I'm a bleh-er. The Kennedy, the Kennedy three post was the last Kennedy that I could bleh in. And ever since they went to two posts, I've had to pop and paint. But as I've always said, I don't mind popping and painting with the Kennedy because of that O-ring snap. When you pop this down, it's just really satisfying. And then you vape it and you want to drip again. Pull this off, paint your coils, boom, pop this back down. Because A, that's so satisfying, and because two, it doesn't matter how you place this on here. You don't ever have to line anything up with your coils or with your airflow. You can just haphazardly throw this back on here any way you want. People bleh all day. Okay, I see a lot of blaying. There is some painting. Spooge everywhere, Stu. Spooge everywhere, Stu. Gonna call you Stu Spooge now. Sorry, you walked right into that one, buddy. Dakota, both? Okay, blah, 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 blah. Paint flip, you're making an excellent choice. It depends on the RDA. Paint, do you have a preference though? Would you rather paint or would you rather blah? Paint, 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 blah, blah, blah. Blah, the wicks should do it, yeah, blah. Pop, uh, pop versus paint depends on the RDA's top cap fit. A Tyler the Vapor makes an excellent choice. Blah. I would rather bleh. People are, yeah, you guys are some blairs here. There is some painters, and that's interesting. Bleh down the middle, right, Frank? I do the same thing. That's my favorite way to do it, is to bleh, to just 
grab your juice, do the thing. Bleh, right through the middle. Some RDAs that we're going to see today can do that. The Kennedy could do that until it became a two post, but then you kind of had to paint it. But even then, I guess I didn't care. So to, to Tyler the Vapors, Duchess is a bleh or two. Ian, if there's an easily removable cap, I would paint. Hmm. I, if I have my choice, if I had my choice, I would uh, do nothing but bleh. I would do nothing but bleh all the time. Bleh me up. Bleh 24 seven. But as I was saying with RDAs like this, and honestly, w the thing I set up this morning on our yo yo -Yoy coffee goof off stream, Nightmare 28, because everyone was raving about it, the Boule uh, sugar cookie mix in here, and you just pop and paint these, and it's not a chore or anything, it's not a hassle. I would prefer to be able to bleh, but with this top cap, it's one of those top caps that just snaps down real nice and just feels real good. And there's not much to line up because you can just twist it all the way clockwise and it opens up the airflow all of the way. So painting on, you know, like the Nightmare 28, it's no big deal. Painting on the Kennedy, again, I feel is no big deal. See, Frank, you... I, you're a lot of people have told me that and I I disagree I mean look I don't disagree two posts work fine down the middle I have a hard time with two posts getting it to where I feel like comfortable and confident that my coils are wet it's just like a it's a I don't know if it's like a mental thing or something like that anyway let's vape this Kennedy three post now I know how this is gonna vape. It's gonna vape awesome. It's gonna vape like a Kennedy. The Kennedy Airflow, the in and up airflow, Steve the Machinist was the first one to do it. And everything after that, I've referred to it as Kennedy style airflow because he started it. It's awesome. Kennedy style airflow is great. <laughs> there's a reason why people are constantly, you know, there's a reason why everybody sort of borrows this type of design. Anyway, Loki, co Loki, Lovecraft's, I bit my lip just now. Bit my lip right on the inside. Are you kidding me, man? I can't believe that happened. Let's give this a whirl. Yeah, that's great. Holy crap, that's vaping awesome. I honestly feel like it needs a little bit more power. If this is a .4, I could be maxing this out right now. It's vaping great. Kennedy Airflow feels a little bit sharp on this, doesn't it? Feels a little bit sharp. Does it sound a little bit sharp? Feeling a little bit sharp. Sounding a little bit sharp. I'm kind of surprised by that. This is, again, this is an RDA that I, I hold in the upper echelon, like kind of like can do no wrong RDAs. I'm not saying it's doing me wrong right now. I'm just saying I don't remember the Kennedy Airflow being this sharp feeling. Sounds sharp. But it's so smooth feeling and very dense. The one thing I always get from Kennedy is just this a dense weather system that you exhale. Very, very dense. Kennedy, it has really great flavor because of the Kennedy Airflow, because of his top cap. Great airflow. I like the pop and paint on this. I like this feeling. Oh, that O-ring. How do you not love that O-ring? I mean, that's the joy of popping and painting is that O-ring. Kennedy, Kennedy's still holding up, you guys. It's a little bit sharper than I remember. The three post is a bitch to build on but it's still holding up. There's a reason why this is one of my favorite vapes. And the Kennedy RDAs only got better. He only got better and better at making them and the cost went down. He was the, he was the ultimate, he was the ultimate capitalist and I love that. And this uh, Lovecraft's Curse, Loki, if you're watching, delicious. It's a little heavy on the black current for my tastes. But it is, uh, it is pretty freaking delicious. All right, let me have a few more pulls here on this Kennedy walk down memory lane. Oh, 
burp life. Zero crackle, Jesse. Zero crackle. What happened? How did I get no crackle? Was it the way I wicked? Was it the material? Was it the diameter? There's a lot of stuff that goes into crackle, and I didn't get any crackle from these coils. I bet I could run this on like an unregulated series at like a full eight volts, and I bet you the higher wattage we put through this, we could get some crackle out of it. I think we could. You want to hear it? You want to hear it again, Frank? Because I do. Let's listen to this. Just listen. Oh my God! That's just an O-ring that makes that sound. It's so delicious. It's so wonderful. All right, Kennedy. Not bad. Okay, not bad. Holding up. Holding up real well. What should we do next? Sub ohm innovations. Should we do the sub zero next? Are we feeling chilly? <laughs> We have this, we have the Sub-Zero, Sub-Ohm Innovations Sub-Zero RDA, big two post. Now this is another painter. I paint, I paint, paint, paint. Michelle Lynn's, <laughs> no, I'll text you back, Michelle Lynn. Um, if you guys are here now and you wanna hit that like button, I, it would be kind of my favorite thing that happened today. I would appreciate that. That would be stupendous. That would be stupendous. So. In the intro, uh, you know, they said that this had a, a separated deck design or a standoff sort of deck design, and it's true. This is the deck, and it doesn't go like this, like a traditional RDA does. You put the deck in like this, and you it slides down to the bottom. Really interesting design. And to pop and paint, you kind of have this little chuff guy, and that's all I would ever do. Pop this off, paint my coils in there, pop this back on vape. This was my original favorite pop and paint RDA. Now we're going to have to lubricate the crap out of these O-rings because as I was taking this apart today and, and cleaning it like I do with whenever I do a build stream, I pull everything out and I, you know, I, I kind of rip the builds out. I'll, I'll clean them. I'll wash them with soap and water and a toothbrush and try to really clean them all out and make them look nice. Getting this out of the barrel. Holy crap. It took me and a gorilla to have the strength to get it out, and it barely went at that point. So I'm gonna overly lubricate this O-ring when we get to that point of having to put this back in. But we're gonna take out this grub screw, hex key screw, zoop zoop. It's just a two post banger. Now, the coils that I really wanted to put in here are the Game Over Man coils. I think they're the game over man's, but like I have a pair of duchesses here that might uh, that might work, duchess. Might work if these are two and a half millimeters. Now the Sub Ohm Innovations Sub Zero housed, you could house large builds in here. The build that I took out of here was three and a half millimeters, I think. Could fit some honkers in here, some big ones. Oh, I don't know, duchess. Might not work out. Yeah, this is a pop and paint. I uh, I don't know if this is gonna work out, Duchess. I have these other coils from someone named Jay. Just says Jay. I'm sure these came in a vlog, and I'm sure I'm sure that I wrote down Jay, thinking, of course I'll remember who that is. Nope. Nope. Don't remember. Unfortunately. So sorry to Jay, but also thank you to Jay. Oh yeah, these are gonna work good, Jay. Mm, yeah, dude. All right, Jay, let's get your coils in here. I don't know what to, uh... hmm. I'm gonna get off my coily tool. Cause I wanna pre-clip these. I guess I can do the old school technique that I used to do. Put in one coil. I'm gonna position it where you need it to be. Clip the leads. Pull that bitch out of there. Take your other coil and just match the clippings. Just match them. The Duchess looked like they would have worked. Well, you're not sitting where I'm sitting, Dane B. 
I'm just kidding. They probably would have worked, um, but I needed one more wrap. As usual, you know, that's Duchess coils go. I always need an extra wrap. I'm just kidding, Duchess. But in this case, it is actually true. So you can get one side in. Not bad. Okay. Let's see if we can get this other side in. Got to go full hacker. You're gonna have to. You have to stack. You got to stack your legs in here. One on top of the other. Oh, I twisted it. Okay. 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 Nothing screwed down, so don't give me any judgments yet. <laughs> but I got him in there. It happened. I'm just gonna put my I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my fingers on these like this, in a thusly way, to keep them where I need to keep them. The leads are stacked on top of each other, and I'm just going to get these both screwed down, and then we can fiddle, strum, you know, strum them, reposition them however we need them to be. I want to do this one especially correctly because I plan on using this for a while. This is an RDA I've been craving to use again, and I want to do it right, and I want to do it well. All right. Super easy. All it takes a little quick straightening. We're good to go. Okay, now, look at that install. That's clean as hell. Now it's a little bit jacky. Two posts. That's a three millimeter coil from Jay. Thank you, Jay, for the coil. Just Jay. Just one Jay. I don't know if your name was Jeff, Jack, Jerry, Jefferson. Thanks, Jay. Let's see what these came out to. 0.14, that's fine. Let's see if we can get these glowing, which we should be able to do at a low wattage like 40 watts. Oh, these are glowing pretty evenly right out of the gate. For anybody curious, this is my old uh, Christian death metal band, The Uplifted. And just from listening to this, you're all going to heaven. 420 out of 69, Derek? Fuck yeah. That's what I call fresh, clean install. If I could get these glowing correctly, let me turn the wattage up. Let's try it. Let's try it. Yep, there's still this one hot spot right underneath. Ooh. I think we got it. I think we got it. Those look pretty evenly glowing to me. That's not bad. It's not great. Like, it's not Instagram worthy, right? I'm not manipulated metals on Instagram. But I think that looks pretty good for an install. You can see my uh, strum marks right there, which I try to do as very little of as possible. Now, now we have to wick it. And the best way to wick it is to wick it right now, just like it is. And it's so easy to wick. This is one of the most easiest. The most easiest? I said I was moving a little bit slow today, didn't I? Didn't I? All right. I am. I still am. Appreciate you guys bearing with me. Let's see, these were three millimeters. Let's roll out this pad a little bit. I'm trying to do the, you know, breeze tone, pork roll technique. I think this is going to be perfect. Might even get some crackle out of these coils. This is kind of like a troll doll, uh, troll doll uh, RDA technique or something like that. Uh, I don't even, uh, you know. I 
I guess I didn't quite ex finish explaining the idea behind this deck. So it's supposed to be... <laughs> the idea is it keeps the heat transfer down from your deck and coils to your chimney because it's kind of separated. They're just touching on the bottom, and they're only kind of really touching by in... Uh, in uh... Wait, what? They're only touching by an O-ring. I'm sorry. Someone's texting me urgent information about this stream. Um... An advocate for liberty says those are 100% Duchess coils. He used to put a J before his labels, according to Tim. Also, sorry for the... I didn't realize you were streaming. <laughs> That's okay. Are you telling me these are Duchess coils because they have a J on them? Why don't I believe that? Look, unless... Look, I've been wrong before. I've been wrong plenty of times. Okay. This is wicked, and so... All I'm going to do is this. Straight up to the edge, chop. Straight up to the edge, chop. That's all you need to do. Because when you put this in there, oh, these are going to go right to the bottom. Do you see how these are going to just fall right to the right to the perfect spot right there? Shh. Awesomeness. So, now we have to try to get this down in this chamber. And we're going to need a mountain of liquid to do it. We're gonna need a mountain of liquid to do it. So let's see how much mountain of liquid we need to do this. I'm gonna put some liquid in the actual uh, barrel here, right at the top. And by a little bit, I mean a ton ton of liquid. Let's see if we can get this lubricated properly. Okay, there we go. Wow, that's so much easier already. Little bit of, a little bit of O-ring lubrication goes a really long way. Now, I use the, the posts to kind of press this down. Should slide right in. And you have to line up. Look at how much liquid's going to be at the bottom. That's okay. It's better safe than sorry. There's two little... Uh, let's see how close I can actually get here. You see those two little notches on the outer, besides my gross fingers, that notch right there and this notch up here. Those line up with notches on the actual deck. Let's see if I can show this to you in the correct way. Yes, there. It sinks down into these notches on the deck, and that's how you adjust your AFC. There's a hard stop at both sides, so you can adjust it fully open, fully closed. Now, it looks like that, right? It looks like the Type 2 when you try to wick it from the top. Same idea. All you do is pop your wicks down. You don't have to, I mean, you can make them look much prettier than that. And your airflow is Kennedy style. It's coming up right at the bottom. Wix, boosh. Try to get this off of here. Bam. Boosh, boosh, boosh. AFC. Closed, open, closed, open. This is gliding beautifully now. It is a world of difference. World of difference between when I first got this out of storage and right now. Like a proper cleaning and lubrication really goes a long way. I don't think I need to tell you that, that a proper lubrication goes a long way. But it does. Uh, we're going to be trying a liquid for the first time ever tonight. It's kind of like a very random liquid tasting. This is uh, QP's fruit. It's called Capiche. QP, out of Canada. Warning. Oh, nicotine is highly addictive. Health Canada. That's what they have to put on the warning? The old rule applies that if it looks dumb and it works, it's not dumb. Okay, it's firing, it's firing. Yes. 
Oh, I'm so happy about this. And yeah, it's really easy. That's the way I paint my coils. This little chuff boop right there. And that is also a pretty satisfying O-ring. It's not quite like Kennedy status of O-ring, but dude, it's got a little like, oh, whoa, I just launched it across my room. It's got a little like, Little, a little satisfying, like, O-rings seating feeling. It's not quite the click, but it's the O-rings being seated feeling. All right, let me make sure. Get some liquid on this. Let's, uh, let's vape it. Sub-Ohm Innovations Sub-Zero RDA. I, uh, for a very, 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 very long time, if anybody asked me what my favorite RDA was, sub I'm gonna, sub zero, hands down, sub zero, sub zero, sub zero. I remember using this, I mean, everywhere. I use these at vape shows, I use it at ECC. I remember most vividly, I used it at two vape shows in Florida. Um, I just love the crap out of this thing. 0.12, 70 watts, QP fruit, cheers. Yeah, still kick ass. Holy crap, that tastes exactly like Smacks Lick It. I'm getting no crackle from these coils. But the flavor is, uh, the flavor and the airflow alone are so incredibly worth it. The airflow on this, in retrospect, now vaping it many, many years later, Feels a little bit hollow, man. It doesn't have that same, that same feeling that I remember. Let's close the airflow down just a little bit. Now try it. Needs more watts, doesn't it, Daddy Vapes? I feel like a, a 0.12, 95 watts. Let's see if we can get crackle out of this. Well, I'm not getting any crackle, <laughs> but it does taste delicious. I'm not getting any crackle, but man, this is uh oh, thank you very much, Richard. I really appreciate that. N no, Lee, no. Yeah, have you ever known me to know exactly what I'm doing? More power? Well, let's try a hundred watts. Let's just do it. Call the constable. Crackle, crackle at 100 watts. Hot, hot vapes. That's some hot vaping action right there. Holy shit. <coughs> All right, now, if I wanna be a normal person, I'm gonna put this down to like 75 watts with a 0.12, and then we can really hydrate. One hundred and forty to get crackled, Dane B. I feel like you're just egging me on, eggy, eggy, eggy. <laughs> you're so eggy. Seventy watts is plenty. I get you. It's a. It's not really. Can you hear the crackle? I'm gonna put some liquid on here. I'm gonna see if you can hear the crackle. There's some, there's some, what I would call faint, but deep crackles. I can feel them. I just can't hear them. And they're very, very faint. It's faint. I would say it's more of a uh, sizzle pop, right? Let's just make up new terminology. Sizzle pop than a, uh, than a cracker, than a crackle. The lack, there is still a lack of beer in this build stream and it's upsetting. Listen, Poon Sauce, here's the thing. I'm an old man. I am 44 years old. I have stomach issues. I have bowel issues. I have GERD issues. I have high blood pressure. I can't drink three beers in the middle of a Monday afternoon. It's just not going to happen. The pre-drag on it. Yeah, I was waiting for somebody. Oh, I was waiting for somebody to say that. Yeah, the pre-drag on it is uh, is the coolest. When you purge, it just comes out like a like a pentagram. It's just a star. But God, you can just take really 
hard, hard rips on it, and you just get this dense, dense, just beautiful flavor. It's a 22 little banger. Subhome Innovations, this is absolutely still holding up. J, AKA maybe Duchess Coils, thank you for these coils. They're, do, they're, they're performing great in here. What up, Zaddy? You're 50, Glenn? So let me ask you this, Glenn, can you drink you know, three beers on a Monday afternoon on a live stream and just be cool? Or are you gonna spend the rest of the night hating yourself going, oh, that's right, I'm fucking 50. This and this QP fruit, this QP fruit, not sure. I'm sure it's going to be available in Canada, maybe, maybe in the US. I'm not sure, you know, wherever you can get it, try to get it. It's pretty delicious. It reminds me a, a lot of uh, Smacks Lick It. Yeah. This is vaping awesome. I like it. Subhome Innovations, Sub-Zero, still going strong, still holding up, still, still a banger. There's a reason why it's in my upper echelon of RDAs. It's just great. It's just great. And I don't know, they say that that keeps heat back, but this RDA has always got hot on me and I can't imagine it with like a traditional style deck where it would get even hotter or if this was you know, anodized aluminum or something, not stainless steel, like something that conducts more heat. I feel like this might be out of control, but the steps that they did take to keep down the heat, I'm thankful for because honestly, after chain vaping this for a little bit, warm, warmth, it's just warmth. Approaching 40, I can still sink a gallon of beer. Oh, fuck me. All right. Challenge on the floor. Sounds like a challenge on the floor. I've tried, like I try to keep up, man. When I was in, uh, when I was in uh, New Zealand, it was beer drinking galore, and I tried to keep up as best I could. <laughs> I can't say that it was uh, super successful. All right, what do you want to do now? Let's do, I want to do the recoil. We are going to do the recoil rebel. You ready for it? Were there any super chats that came in, man? I apologize. Uh, let's see, finally, yeah, uh, Frank Wildgrim, uh, that's right, two post Kennedy on the hex home. Matt Sinister says, Nick, wait until you see my IG vids you posted today. Wait, did you did you get your max bench, bro? Did you kill your max bench? All right, I'm, I'll check it out. Seth, building the Kennedy, then the Sub-Zero right after this, just bringing back memories. Thanks, Nick. I really miss working in a vape shop. Seth, I miss you working in a vape shop. I miss working in a vape shop for you. I've always wanted to own a vape shop. I've always wanted to run a vape shop because I thought I think it'd be really, really fun. I, that's just I, that's my environment. I could see myself st just living in a vape shop all day long. Uh, Robert says those J coils are Duchess coils. There before he was called Duchess. What? Those are my coils. They're triple twenty six. The J is because my first name is Jason. Before I had those labels and switch wire to kidney puncher. Oh, Duchess! Fucking Duchess coils. Well, thank you, J. Thank you for those coils. They're in the Sub Zero. And they're awesome. And they're doing great, Duchess. Thank you. I appreciate those coils. You know, I would like some more crackle, right? Breeze Tones always gets me crackle, but... All right, I'm going to stay hydrated right now. I think I would run a pretty kick-ass vape shop. I'm not saying, you know... Hashtag just saying. I think it would be an awesome vape shop. If you're willing to move out to uh, Southern California. <laughs> uh, first of all, I just want to put Jake Scrapwood uh, on blast a little bit in the best way possible. Uh, he's one of my patrons and he makes custom mods just for himself and for people. Uh, he doesn't sell them, but he made this one for my wife and it's uh, it's incredible. It's a pulse width modulation, dual 18650 box, wood. I mean, he, he's a wood man. He's a woodworker guy clicky fire button um she doesn't put this down jake she doesn't she doesn't put it down let's make sure there's batteries in here she doesn't put it down and she doesn't put it down ever and while she has it in her hand it's a recoil rebel that's just what she vapes all the time 24 7 so let me bring your attention to one of the greatest decks that ever existed in vaping 
it's the Recoil Rebel deck. We, we designed this deck before builders started correcting their leads. Started doing this before builders started correcting their leads. In fact, I'm gonna use these Cloud Cartel. Oh no, these are... So this needs to go on a PWM. So I need some, uh, some coils that are gonna be PWM friendly. Should I wish I had more milk vapes. That'd be the way to go. Oh, I do. I don't think, for some reason, I don't think she's going to love that. Let's see, let's go through the other Cloud Cartel stuff. If there's anything for a Hexome in here, I'll use it. Three millimeter uh, tricore. Uh, uh, no, that'll be okay. Two and a half millimeter six wrap. 0.11, all right. Uh, oh, Cloud Cartel, you're killing me, man. Hey, that's okay. Look, these are for Max, right? Oh, 0 0.16. 0 0.16 would be cutting it close on a hex. I feel like a 0.16 is cutting it close on a hex on. Let's just build to like a 0.2. Aliens? No. Every, every one I pick up, it just keeps going lower and lower resistance. It's like, these should be 0.06s. Like, oh shit, I'm trying to go the other way, man. Trying to go the other way. Got some old squidude coils. No idea coils. Some game overmans. I wish I could put these in there. These are great coils. Yeah, dual coil is gonna be a 0.11, so that's uh that's a no-go. Demo! Demo vapes! Dang. I might not have some coils for this. Point around to point one two. I just don't think she would like. I just don't think she would like those coils, those moke vapes. She likes hot, hot builds. Point oh nine to point one one. Nobody can build abo above a point one one. That's what I'm learning. That's what I'm learning. Can you build above point one one? Vape community? Nope. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Clouds and coils. Yep, 0.11. All right. Well, we might end up putting something uh, completely wrong in these. Completely wrong for PWM. Mostly just because I don't want to ruin this mod, you know? Don't want to ruin this mod. All right. These should work great. Perfection has been achieved. And you know who they're coming from? It's Moak Vapes again. Moak. Moak Vapes. So some more uh, innovation in the Recoil Rebel RDA was the, was the innovation of the Ultem uh, Ring. And Casey still uses the Ultem Ring, and it's one of the reasons she likes the Recoil Rebel. I thought this was really, really cool, but nobody really cared for it. There's a whole long story. Maybe Dwayne and I will tell the story of the Recoil Rebel someday, but I'm not going to tell the whole story here. But those post holes are designed for wires that, uh, you know, are wrapped off of each other. Like this. One goes up off the top, one comes up off the bottom. That's what this is designed for. So the top one can go in the top one, and the bottom one, whoop, can go into the bottom one. Now, if you're going to ask me why I chose flathead screwdrivers for this RDA, I'm going to say I have no idea. At the time, I thought I loved them. It turns out they're okay. <laughs> but I kind of wish, uh, with most of my wishes, that I did not demand, insist on flathead screws for this. I insisted. I demanded. I was ruthless about it. I feel like a 0.6 might be okay. 0.16? If I can get it closer to a 0.2, then we'd really have something. But I'm going to show you the, the genius of this uh, Ultem insert ring. Boosh like that. So then you're going to see the leads come through on your side right there perfectly. One up, one down. Almost perfectly centered. That is like the perfect coil for this, Moke Vapes. I don't know if you're still around, Moke, but I sure do miss your coils, bro. 
So I'm gonna do the thing that I did with the other RDA and I'm gonna pre-clip these again. Mm -hmm. Just let them go flying. I'll vacuum later. And then we're just gonna measure those clippings with another clippings. With another clippings. Because Allen grub screws suck, flathead screws all day. See, I feel I used to feel the same way, but lately, I don't know. I always liked, really liked flathead screws. I felt like you got much more torque on them than you did with the hex key screws or anything like that. And I would always strip out hex key screws or grub screws, whatever you call them, constantly. And it could be, you know, people would tell me, oh, well, that's because, you know, you weren't using the right uh, tool. If you were using the right tool, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have messed them up. Yeah, the flatheads were the weakest part. And even these, these are the original screws. You can see some of them over are like super jacked from cranking them down so hard. Super jacked 9,000. But one coil goes in that way. The other coil goes in this way. And that's it, dude. Your Recoil Rebel's built. I'm just going to put my fingers on these coils to sort of keep them in place. In fact, I'm going to put my tools in here, too, to sort of keep them in place while I screw these down. While I screw down these obnoxious flathead screws. What were you thinking, Grim Green? What I would love to do is I want to do the Recoil Rebel 1.5. Do the recoil rebel 1.5. I think that would be kick ass. Get rid of these weak ass flathead screws, put better screws in there, make like a titanium deck. Whoa! Flathead screws. That is the danger of flathead screws every time, all day long. See, I see a lot of people praising flathead screws, and I'm going, well, go buy a rebel and tell me if you love flathead screws after you've vaped, after you've tried to build on this thing. I did the same thing with uh, the original recipe recoil. I wanted flathead screws. It's like, nope, flatheads, they're the best. It's the way to go. You get so much more torque, you can crank them down harder. Crank them down harder. Also, you can just really fuck things up really easily with them too. And <laughs> Now there's a little slight bit of centering that you do need to do with the recoil rebel but it's it's minimal at best I'm just gonna make sure that these are snug did you see that fuck flathead screws okay okay see you can't okay okay Boop. It's just a little push. It's just a little push to center. Just a slight push to center, and that's it. But one of the joys, I think, of the Recoil Rebel, even though my wife is a strict poppin' painter. Yeah, I didn't mention that earlier. Strict, strict poppin' painter. I liked that you could blare like a madman with this because you had that big deck running right down the middle. And I said deck, okay? Is that true, Derek? Look, Derek works in a vape shop and I have no reason to, to not believe him right now. I have no really no reason to not believe him right now. I heard this is true. I'll tell you what, man, I'm gonna put those game overs in the reload for sure. All right, well, here, uh, I'm not gonna glow it on this. I'm gonna glow it on something DNA, just so I can you know, we want to be accurate about this, right? Now let's see what we uh, resisted. Oh, 0.18. Dude, these might be absolutely freaking perfect. 0.19 right now is what it's reading. Now, here's to hoping that resistance goes up and not down. Do you ever lose your tweezers? Yeah, I do all the time, every day. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, Moke, your coils are so good. Look at those colors. Want to see some hot color action? Pew, right there. Screenshot that and put it on Instagram.
Oh, these are going to be kick-ass. Pickle, get excited. Glowing flawlessly, perfectly evenly. Love these Moke Vapes. Moke was, Moke Vapes was a good builder, dude. Good builder. Right, most clouds but the worst flavor. Is that how flathead screws work on RDAs? I wasn't sure. <laughs> Is it? I keep biting my lip even though I'm not chewing anything. I'm not looking forward to lunch today. All right, let's get some uh, cotton in here and I'll show you the, the, the genius. The genius of the, uh, oh man, where did my Kennedy go? I should have put it on this. What am I thinking? I even got it out. Okay, it ended up on a hexome, but I got out a Kennedy Vindicator, a, a matte black Kennedy Vindicator to put that on. But we ended up putting series coils in it, so it's not going to much matter. Wiki Vape. Good night, Wiki Vape. Thank you for coming to hang out. Here's what you missed, Boba. I everything, bro. Be here on time next time, okay? <laughs> Just kidding. Just joking, bro. Just jokes. But if you could be on here, be on time next time, that would that would be great. Getting some cotton in my recoil rebel. Just getting some cotton in my recoil rebel, yeah. Cotton, cotton. Oh, come on, son of a bitch. Too much cotton. Too much cotton. That was excessive. Look what I was trying to do. If, if Brad and Breeze Tones was here, he'd be he'd be rolling his eyes at me. I was trying to jam this giant wad of cotton, and like, look, it got stuck, and I was just trying to keep pulling. Just keep pulling. You'll eventually it'll eventually work, bro. It's like a late motif in my life. Just keep trying to do the wrong thing, over and over and over again. Here we go. That already feels much more reasonable. Yeah, I mean, it's still snug. Whoa, went too far. Come back, come back, come back. All right. Kind of looks like garbage, but I don't care. Kind of looks like garbage. But I don't care. Oh, I'm just trying to sing along to the YouTube music. Oh, now we can sing along to some Christian death metal. All right. Boosh. Boosh. Now, for wicking the Rico Rebel up to the edge of the deck, cut your, cut your cotton. That's how you wick it. Then you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna do the foldy thing. And I don't know if this is a uh, Mike Vapes under tickle, whatever he calls it. Uh, I just flip these over, kind of stick them down like that. You see that? Nope, I covered it up completely. All right. Let's try to let's try to do this so it can be visually seen. Ready? And grab this under, right? Did you see that? Oh. Yeah, yeah. You guys are like, yeah, I know, Grim. That's We've been wicking our RDAs like this for 10 years now. It's, it's a flip. It's a flip. See the flip? Flip. Oh, yeah. Flip. I covered it up completely, and it went out of focus. Okay. I'm, never mind. I'm just never going to be able to show you this. Okay, now once you get it wicked, it's like, okay, like that's, look, you're basically done. But if you want to use the Ultem guy, which you definitely want to use the Ultem guy, just slide the Ultem guy over it. There's a little lip in this. Ah, of course it's not going to focus on that because it's, there's a hole in the middle. But you see there's like a, a lip 
It's a ring with a lip. And the idea behind the lip was to hold your juice. To hold your juice underneath the cotton. To hold your juice not flooding out of your airflow so that you could be a little bit excessive with your liquid application and or bleeding technique. And it's not going to spill when you tilt it to your face to vape because there's a little ledge right there that kind of holds the liquid back. It works. I can't think of any other thing to say about it other than it works flawlessly. It works perfectly. It's just one of the, it was just a weird little thing that was my idea that I forced Dwayne to include. <laughs> no, I can't remember that exact story. I don't remember if that was my idea or Dwayne's idea, but we both thought it was fucking brilliant. We both just went, yes, yes, of course we're going to do that. Now, let's see. All my wife vapes is Homeboy Mango. So we're going to put the morning up here. This product does contain nicotine. Nicotine, in, in the most scientific sense of the word addiction, is not addictive. It is habit forming and it is dependent forming. But I wouldn't say in the scientific field that you could call it addicting. In cigarettes, yes. Outside of cigarettes, no. Because addiction deals with, listen, I don't, I'm not gonna, addiction deals with harm to the user, right? So addiction means if you're addicted to something, which I'm not a huge fan of that word to begin with, but you keep doing it in spite of the harm to yourself. So smoking cigarettes, you keep smoking despite the harm. You know the harm, you just keep doing it. With vaping, show me the nicotine harm. Show it to me. If you use it every day and it doesn't kill you, you'd have coffee. So I would say it's uh, about as dependent forming as caffeine. Oh, crackle. Oh, there's already crackle. I can already hear crackle happening. How pumped is Casey Pickle gonna be? Brand new build, brand new wicks, crackly. Hey, Sergio. I want to do another rebel. I want to do another rebel, Duchess. I want to do a rebel 1.5. Do a recoil rebel 1.5. Because <laughs> I love 1.5s, you know. Yes. She's going to love the crap out of this. Now, lately she's been on the AFC full open. When the Recoil Rebel came out, there was two different caps for it. We did this traditional snake bite airflow that we've all come to know and love that I think is the best airflow ever on an RDA. But one of the complaints about the original recipe recoil that Dwayne could not get out of his head was that people said it had no AFC. And he's like, bro, we need to do an RDA with AFC. It needs to have an AFC, it needs to have an AFC. I'm like. It doesn't need an AFC. It's fine. It's great the way that it is. Oh, we gotta do an AFC, okay. So we ended up with this, I don't know, it's kind of a cool AFC. It has a weird uh, opening and closing. You can close off any combination of these holes, but what I find myself doing is just running it full open. And I'm pretty sure my wife does the same thing. So again, there's no tabs or anything. All you do is just take your Airflow, boop right in front of your cotton. This has been reduced down to one O-ring for the purpose of popping and painting. My wife is a painter. She's a popper and a painter. She's not a bleh-er because she likes to see her coils. That's the that's the excuse she says. I like to see my coils. Oh, okay. Look, I can't hold that against you. You want to see your coils? You want to see your coils? So we took this down to one O-ring to make the popping and painting much easier. And truly and honestly, it feels a little bit like a Kennedy now. That snap is kind of a Kennedy-ish. All right, let's get back up here and let's vape a Recoil Rebel. Let me check these super chats. I think I saw one come in. Derek, uh, Recoil Rebel 1.5, technically yes, but do it. Here's the thing. I want to. I want to, Derek. But it's a weird market right now, man. <laughs> the vape industry is a real weird place right now. But... See if I can, yeah, I'm just gonna leave this at the same wattage she had it. Ohmboy's Mango on the Recoil Rebel. Again, one of 
my, what I consider to be, and I'm completely biased in this. I don't want anybody to think I'm being objective in this moment right now. The original recipe recoil and the recoil rebel are two of my favorite RDAs. Hands down, they can never do any wrong to me because I'm completely biased because they're my products. <laughs> I still believe the recoil rebel and the recoil are, are awesome, objectively awesome. And, uh, I really like the Recoil Rebel. I actually like the Recoil Rebel with the airflow full open, the AFC cap full open than I do with the uh, with the Cloudsburg Clouds airflow. I know that's weird. Yeah, that's banging ass. That's banging ass 9,000. In fact, if it was me, I would close off at least one of the bottom holes. No, I would close off at least one of the top holes. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do three holes. Three holes? Three holes. This many holes. Closing off one on the top. Just one. One on the top. Hell yes. Hell yes, that is a good vape. Uh, I bleh, and with the recoil, you can bleh with confidence. You make an excellent point, Derek. They're supposed to be your favorite. That's why you created them. I know. And like, I do feel that way, especially about the recoil stuff. I don't necessarily feel that way about the goat, and I don't necessarily feel that way about the type two. The type two was really like, as long as I liked it, that's all that I cared about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that the Type 2 is like the best RTA. I think it's really good. I think it's a really good flavor banger, but I still think that the Recoil Rebel and the original recipe Recoil hold up to modern atomizers as far as like quality of build and quality of vape. I think they still hold up. But again, I am completely biased. Completely biased. 28 millimeter. Derek, stop giving me ideas. Would you want the uh, Ultem ring included in that as well, Derek? Uh, look, there's no other way to put it. It's vaping awesome. It's nice and warm. There's a little bit of crackle happening. I think my wife is going to be stoked. Let's see if we can get her in here to come retrieve her uh, vape. You want to come get your vape? Say hi to my subscribers. No, I'm not gonna trick her into doing that. She's working, like she has a job. She's doing important work right now. And I'm like, hey, come goof off. Come goof off with me. <laughs> come goof off. So look, I don't know what else to say about the Recoil Rebel. It, I love it. It's one of my, again, like all of these today, upper echelon RDAs. It's awesome. No Ultem ring needed. It got a hard stance on that Ultem ring. Okay. Look. Uh, ask and, and you shall receive. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Stand right there and give it one vape and then tell me how satisfied you are. Oh. I'm very Just satisfied. chasing clouds? House cloud chaser? I'm very satisfied You're doing great. By this app. Yeah, enjoy it. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, I'm glad we could get this low hanging fruit. Glad we could tackle this low hanging fruit. What yep. a great opportunity. Thanks for reaching out on this project. My wife and I like to do a lot of management speak back and forth. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just one of those inside jokes that we do because I constantly hear about it. Like I see it in, uh, you know, business emails. It's like, thank you for reaching out and connecting with me on this project. Glad we could tackle this low hanging fruit and just like management speak that doesn't really mean anything. It's just things people say to sound important. Constantly. <laughs> All right. Last things last. Who's ready? Who's still hanging out? Who hasn't, who hasn't hit the like button yet? Dimlet, I feel like you have not hit the like button yet. I just get a feeling. <laughs> just kidding, Dimlet Knight. Just kidding, Dimlet Knight. Um, so let's jump down here. Let's show this. Look at this deck. First of all, 
Look at these O-rings. Jacked O-rings. I've seen some jacked O-rings, and I've jacked some O-rings in my day, but these are straight-up jacked O-rings because, because of the top cap. You're sliding this down with open holes on the bottom, and you're sliding... So you're getting one edge, you're getting two different edges that all have to slide over these O-rings. And if they're unlubricated or dry in any way, look at that. You can just see me, ugh, like, look, look at that. It's just gonna push that O-ring out every single time, unless it is properly lubricated. Now we can get to a proper RDA with Phillips head screws on top. <laughs> Look at that flathead recoil rebel action. I really appreciate you guys coming and hanging out on Monday when I do these build streams. It's it's just really a lot of fun. I feel like I get the week started really right, and I feel like we get to hang out and I get to connect a little bit, and it's just it makes me feel uh, it makes me feel involved, like in in the vape uh, in the vape community. You know, just means a lot to me that you guys are here. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. Look, I'm not trying to get all emotional or anything. But I don't know what I do without any of you. So let's let's just do full jump down and start building this thing. The deck wonky. Look at this wonky deck. Look at that peak insulator running through the bottom. Positive side, negative side. It kind of forms a little face over here, and your coils go right in through the middle, which means you got leads that poke out this way. Wow, it does. The deck looks shocked. <laughs> It actually looks pretty stoked. Like, I feel like that's a stoked deck. Like, he's got a little smile. He's like, hey, let's vap. Let's vap this. Again, same, Bob. I'm in the same boat as you. I didn't love this deck, but I loved vaping this fucking thing. And what I want to put in here, if I can get this on a mech or something, who cares? We'll put it on a DNA. This is, uh, these are some game over mans. These are from uh, Cloud Revolution. Yes, Cloud Revolution. Pick these up in uh, NZ, New Zealand. These are his Game Over Mans, and they're just really, really good. I like it when, uh, I like it, I like the trend of naming your coils. Like, even if you're a builder and you're like, oh, I do Fuse Claptons, you know, it's whatever. I do a Fuse Clapton, this is the wire, this is the diameter, these are the specs. It's like, okay, well, you can call them like, these are Nick's Fuse Claptons, or you could call them like, the Game Over Man, or the like, laser breath you could call a coil laser breath and nobody would care you could call a coil give me shelter you could call a coil I don't know I just think it's cool I like that these are game over mans and it makes me feel more connected to this builder as a project as a product because he named them game over man game over man so remember earlier when we were talking about the scoop technique this is the scoop technique of all scoop techniques for this RDA. Super scoop, ready? We're putting a super scoop, boop, on our on our coil right there. Super scoop, call this the scoop, super scoop. <laughs> call this the super scoop. And really this is beneficial because you're gonna be scooping these into, into these holes. Scooping them into the holes, just one at a time. Scoop, yeah, right in, right in. Now, the way to do this is difficult. <laughs> We're gonna pre-clip our other leads after we scoop them. We're gonna turn them into the scoop pattern, and then Grim Green, I had a theory on why you guys felt comfortable releasing the Type 2, and it had to do with the PMTAs and the whole 2016 thing. Am I close? Uh, kind of. Um, kind of. The, PM, the, the Type 2 was a, a labor, was a passion project that I was dying to do, and so that's kind of why I really wanted to do it. And a lot of it was a fuck you to regulations and a fuck you. Like, no, I'm going to release a new RTA, and there's literally nothing you can do to stop me except send me to prison, which, look, it could do that. But it did have to do with PMTAs. It did have to do with 2016. You're, you're on the right check, Dean B. Now, this is the difficult part, because once you have a coil in here, ah, vegetarian cat, 
I bought some Jam Monster apple and strawberry, and they're gross. On the website, it didn't say anything about butter and toast being in any of them. Okay. Yeah, that's rough. Trade. Find, find a group and do some trading. We're going to have to pre-clip these leads because this is where the scoop is really critical. Because you can you you have to start putting the leads in the holes while your while your coils way up here, so that when you seat it down, it doesn't get hung up on this coil that's kind of already sitting there. You have to whoop scoop it in, scoop it in, sucker. In fact, you can take this to a little bit even more of an extreme if you want to. In fact, let's really scoop. You know, I talk about scooping, but let's put my money where my mouth is. Let's really get the needle nose pliers, you know, and let's really scoop. <laughs> in fact, you kind of have to really scoop to get these in here because, like has been pointed out a thousand times in the chat, this is a bitch of a deck to build on. That right there, that is some hot scooping action. Let's see if we can do this. I'm excited. Silence, please. Boop! Scooped it right in. That's the trick to this deck. Just scoop your damn leads. Make the shovel, scoop them in. It's the only way I've been able to build on this deck ever. I, I, it's because back in the day, like I was talking about on the tugboats and stuff, you had to scoop. You had to scoop. There was too much stuff to get in the way of your leads and you bloop, it just everything went smoother when you just scooped them in. Now we can scoop. So we're just gonna position these exactly kind of where they are. Uh, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna hide this whole process and put my fingers over the coils to kind of keep them in place. But we're gonna screw all these screws down. This is a great deck if you can scoop it. It's quick. These screws don't mess with your leads or anything. Just scoop, scoopy smooth. Scoop, there it is. Scoop, it's the scoop technique. Boosh scoop. Now, all you really have to do is straighten this out. I, I'm not even going to bring them any farther out from the post because I want a little bit of a gap right there to prevent juice from really pooling right there. I'm going to leave a little bit of uh, a gap if I can. If I can. And then you just cut off your wacky scoop leads. I don't know why I was trying to do that so awkwardly. Yep. Oh, that one might have ended up in the Millennium Falcon. Perfection. Freaking perfection. Freaking perfection. Yeah, they're a little bit wonky, but they're centered right in the middle. There's a little gap in between, so it's not going to pool juice there. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. These are reading low, but that's okay. I knew these were going to be low. That's why this is for a Mac. They're reading at a 0 0.05. 0 0.05, which is low. That is low. There's just no way around it. Let's get these glowing. Low wattage glowing, you know? kind of is going to get hung up over here, I can tell. Yep. This RDA, more than any other RDA, is important to, uh, it is important to remember the true meaning of Christmas. Um, it's important to have the right length to span the distance between these two, because what, what's happening is I'm having hot spots here, and I'm having hot spots here you can wa kind of watch them happen and it's because these two coils right here are just overlapped a little bit so what i could try to do is here let's try to i don't have the right tool let's see if we can get these glowing Yep, that, that hot spot right there. That's going to drive me nuts, but I just got it out. 
kind of a genius that way. Oh, here we go. We're glowing. We're glowing. I'm going to look around and see if there's no hot spots. Does that look even? Glowing from the middle out? Yeah, no hot spots? Hot, hot spot. Bottom back? I like checking for hot spots. It feels like I'm doing like the final last like quality assurance check on my coils before they go out the door or something. I'm definitely going to need to cut these leads. Whoa. Cut these leads uh, shorter if I can because that top cap is just going to get in the way. Okay, <laughs> that's as close as they're getting. Uh, it's a super crazy easy deck to build on or uh, to wick. What am I even talking about? I said I was going to be moving a little bit slow today, and so I apologize. Records, back at it again, baby. Hey, it's what I do. If I wasn't poorly building things on YouTube and yelling at tobacco controllers on Twitter, I feel like I wouldn't have a purpose in life. feel like I wouldn't have a purpose in life. All right. Let's see. Am I going to try to jam way too much cotton in there? I know. Did you see me almost touch the coils right after they were glowing? Smart, Nick. Smart. Bushwick in. As I've already said, this is crazy easy to wick. I mean, most RDAs are pretty crazy easy to wick. A three hour stream. No, oh my God, we are running long. Holy crap, this is already an hour and 47 minutes? I feel like this is excessive, you guys. This, this is excessive. Where did my Monday go? Build stream, that's where it went. If it doesn't feel excessive to you, then who the fuck am I? Okay, there we go. Cotton, again, it's just a this. <laughs> it's just a this, right to the edge of the deck. And then literally all you're doing is booping it down. You can thumb it, you can under tickle it, you can mic vapes it, you can do the s swipe. So this is a technique too that I've seen, I use all the time, I've seen Bogan use too kind of pull all your wicks to one side, start pressing them down, and as you press it down, it just kind of, you know, falls back over to the side that it was supposed to be on. You know? Probably didn't do that very well from the front, not looking at it, but that's kind of what you're going for. All it does to do is just tuck down. I'll probably thumb this side, yeah. Thumbing it's just way easier. Thumbing it's easier than swiping it. And that's it. You're wicked. Your coils are centered right in the middle, right underneath your mouth. There's a hole, you know, there's a gap in the middle so that liquid doesn't pool there. So that when you bleh, like I like to bleh, the question is, shit, what liquid do I put in this? I have no idea. Should I vape Omboy Mango too? Want something summery, damn it. Want something summery, fun, fruity, refreshing. And that's all I have in here is like custard, 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 toffee, baked, boule bolu, honey, granola bar, pumpkin, deep cuts, blueberry. I want something refreshing. Refreshing, damn it. I got nothing. I got literally nothing. All right, I'm gonna have to steal some liquid from my stash. 
I have a stash of liquids. Mind the undertickle. Mind the undertickle. I have some, uh, I have a stash of liquids. I might have to dip into it. This is, this is like, this is liquid that I don't claim ownership to. This is liquid that I consider that I'm just storing for people in the future when they might need some liquid. I might be able to send them some liquid, you know? <laughs> it's a bunch, and I realize that. But like I said, I keep this stuff for mostly giveaway stuff. I rarely, rarely dip into this. I really see. Look, I got 120 mil Turkish cake, just waiting. I think I might dig into this, although I don't want it to be bad. It's a uh, Lago. Lago. Black black currant, raspberry, pear, and strawberry. But it has ice. That's why I'm like I'm thinking summer ice. Maybe this is something I'm after. There's some savage CBD stuff in here. There is some apple pie. No. Whoever gets these liquids at any point in time, they're going to be uh, sufficiently steeped. You don't have anything to worry about in that department. You know what I would kill for right now is some paramel from Drip uh, Teardrop. That's what I would love. Whoa! What up, Noli? All right, Noli. We're going full into Noli right now. Mango Nectarine Pink Lemonade. Right? Is that perfect? Is that perfect? Or, is that perfect or what? Wait, what are you? Lemon drop? Three milligram lemon drop. Okay. Okay. I think I'm, I think I'm satisfied by that choice. Back you go. Here's what we ended up with. Noli. Noli e-liquid. You hip to Noli? Noli's great. Uh, his name is Kyle, I believe, from Noli Designs. They do great drip tips. Rockin' liquids. Mango nectarine pink lemonade sounds exactly what I'm after. In fact, I want to demonstrate this, this hot, uh, this hot bling action. Just drip. Let's see if we can just drip. Yeah. Bleh. And then it just disappears and it goes through the bottom. Bleh. And then it just disappears and goes to the bottom. And then eventually, you should see it start wicking up your, uh, wicking up your wicks. I'm gonna, I'm just kind of coating the bottom of this in e-liquid, which I know is super gross, but there's no other way that this cap is going on here. This is not a pop and paint. Thankfully, it's not a pop and paint. Thankfully, you can bleh your liquid through the middle, you know, like a champion. Let's see if we can get this down. Holy fuck. Nope. All right. Let's get some e liquid on the inside of this top cap then. Severe lubrication on these O-rings. Severe lubrication on these O-rings. Fuck. Okay, hang on. That one, I'm gonna have to take that O-ring off. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, uh, no. Almost success. Okay, I think that's about as success as I'm getting. I got it on, I got it down, I got it up, that's what she said. That's open on that side, that's open on that side. There is still, it doesn't seat quite all the way down. You see there's a little sliver of like brass right there? What? Okay, I'm just gonna leave it as is. I'm just gonna leave it as is. Just gonna leave it, there's nothing else. It's that we're just vaping it and we're vaping it. Thankfully, this isn't an RDA that you're popping and painting and popping and painting. If you have that preference, I would steer very clear of the original 
Reload Vapor, Reload RDA. Anyway, cheers, you guys. Let's have a toot. I can't believe we did this. Actually, you know what? We know we got to adjust the correct wattage. We got to... What am I doing? I'm way too ahead of myself right now. Way too ahead of myself right now. We didn't get a proper resistance reading. We didn't, like... I didn't adjust my wattage. I'm like, yeah, let's just take a, like a big old toot. All right, so we ended up right at a uh, 0 0.1. 0 0.10. Which means... Oh, I'm going to have to vape this at like uh, 100 watts. Oh, 0.1. Yeah, 0.11. Right, uh, right on par. I mean, pretty on par for those uh, for those game over mans. So, look, I got some great game over mans in my recoil. Recoil. Come on. Come on, Nick. Come on now. Reload Vapor. Reload RDA. This was a... 2017 product 2017 product anyway i got 90 watts at a 0.11 let's go noli let's go uh awesome 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 this liquid's great it's vaping great the airflow without a build in it felt very sharp. I thought, man, is this another RDA that I loved that has really, really sharp airflow? It doesn't. Once I get a build in there, it's super nice and hyper smooth. It feels very even. And I've never described airflow like this. <laughs> feels thick. I would say thick. The airflow, the, the, the vapor, it all feels very, very thick. vaping spectacularly this is the summer liquid that i have been craving it was down there the whole time it was in my office the whole time i didn't even know about it i'm getting some faint crackling happening in there it's great this is a great rda this rda is holding up really well the one downside the one like caveat buyer beware of this rda is those o-rings on the bottom now this is from 2017 so they could have improved the o-rings over time like as they continued to make and release rdas but i don't know i can't say for sure i just know that the o-rings on this were kind of junky but it never really affected me because I, I didn't pop and paint on this. Once I set my airflow, I just left it. All I would do is bleh, vape, bleh, vape, bleh, vape. And I thought, I love this. If I don't have to pop and paint, I love it. If I don't have to fits with those fits, futs with those O-rings on the bottom, win, win, win. Yeah, it's thick. Yeah, thick with two C's. Two C's on the end of that thick. This liquid is a stellar, stellar liquid. Holy crap, Noli. Killing it. Killing it right now. All right, well, hey, look, I appreciate you guys coming out for a really long stream. All of these RDAs today held up really, really well. I'm going to go, let's go through all of them right now. Let's just vape them all. This, this, let's get Lovecraft's curse here. I got a pop and paint with the Kennedy. Let's start off where we started off. Got those series coils in there. I feel like I could turn this up as well in the voltage to wattage department on this hexome, but Boosh, that was set up number one. Kennedy, even the three posts, 24 millimeter, still vaping rad. Still vaping rad. Still vaping rad. Like, there's a reason why I love these RDAs. Can't do the recoil rebel, but I, I, my wife, I'm, I'm sure, is just over the moon with how happy and, and how great that uh, that build was in there. Man, let me tell you. Point. Was this a point one one as well? Sub ohm innovation sub zero, holding up. 
really well. I mean, vaping as good as the day I remember it. There's a reason why I love these RDAs. Going back into vaping them all now really reminds me of why I love all these RDAs. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Well, I'm very excited about that RDA and damn, I'm gonna have to do some cleaning today. This is too many setups. Some RTAs are gonna have to get taken down today if I'm gonna leave these going. Sub Home Innovation Sub-Zero still holding up. This is still holding up, the Reload Vapor. If I had to choose out of all four that we set up today, I'm gonna go with the Reload Vapor Reload RDA as my Grim Green fucking pick of the week, pick of the bunch. Favorite of the four, top top of the four, favorite of the bunch, pick of the bunch. We're gonna go with pick of the bunch, okay, officially. I'm going crazy for this. I love this Reload Vapor RDA. It just vapes so well. The flavor's really good on it. You can bleh it like a champion. You do have to scoop your leads in there, but honestly, I wouldn't let the weird deck put you off from experiencing this great vape. Point one one at 90 watts is, uh, it's incredible. This liquid is really, really good. I'm really happy right now. I am very happy. This was a successful build and chill. We built, we chilled. There you go. There you go. Here's the thing, uh, Sengari. Um, I don't think RDAs are pretentious. I just, uh, there's so many different ways to vape. Um, I like all of them. I, I like blowing clouds. I like restricted lungs. I have a whole swath of mouth to lung pods and RTAs always set up. Uh, over the years, I've come to appreciate every like type and style of vaping from restricted lung billet boxes to cloud chasing RDAs to MTL RTAs to really tight MTL RTAs to loose MTL restricted lung. I just like all of it. And uh, if there is a way of vaping that is going to appeal to someone to keep them off of cigarettes, then I say go fucking for it. More power to you. If all you want to do is chase clouds, chase them. As long as you're not chasing cigarettes, I'm cool. You want to chase clouds? Do it. You don't want to chase clouds? Cool. You don't have to. But as for me, in this house, we chase clouds here. Anyway, I guess I'll wrap this up now, you guys. But uh, damn it, if this wasn't a lot of fun, revisiting these RDAs, seeing that they still hold up, it's just really fun. I've had a real fun day, and I'm really satisfied with this reload and this, like, this was the summer vape. This was the summer vape I was looking for. Oh yeah, let's let me get sorry about that new wave, Dave. Okay, let me finish off these uh, these super chats here, and then we'll get uh, we'll get uh, we'll get back on track here. Uh, there was one more from Eric Toledo. Yes, Rebel V one point five, please. I never got to try the Rebel, but I do have an OG recoil. Ah, oh, well, you got the best one. I think the OG recoil is the banger. The banger. That's that's my ultimate like, supreme number one best. I love it, Atomizer. I love the recoil, the OG recoil. It's the, re, it's the I, I perfected it in 2016. That's the RDA I've always wanted. And it's still to this day, like, it's still the RDA I've always wanted. I've got the Black on Holy sitting right now. This is ready for the random liquid tasting this week. Yeah, yeah. That's how far ahead I've prepped this week. I'm already thinking about the vlog, which is crazy. That's craziness. Um, Thank you, guys. I love the build stream. I love it when you guys come out for the build stream. This is just fun as hell. And I appreciate, look, I appreciate all of the feedback, all of the help that some people give me, regardless of your tone. I really do appreciate it. So you can come over here, you can rag on me and crack on the way I build and I'll take it with a grain of salt because we just fucking hang out and have a fun time. And at the end of the day, everything I build vapes. So suck on that. Reload X is coming out next week. Uh, OG Recoil might come out next week. Uh, the 
Well, I'm not going to give away next week's build stream, but we're going to continue down these RDAs that I absolutely love trend because I absolutely love these RDAs. Why would I want to not keep vaping them? Anyway, let me pause this music for anybody. That was uh, a YouTube track. <laughs> let me uh, go ahead and wrap this up, you guys. Oh, I got getting text messages. That's crazy. Um, if you guys want to do me a favor, like a personal favor, um, smash that like button on your way out. Just hit it. Just crush it. Just pound it into the ground. Punch your computer. And uh, no, don't punch your computer. D don't don't punch your computer. But I do appreciate you hitting that uh, hitting that uh, like button on your way out. The build streams are definitely a series. I switch it up all the time. We spent a few weeks doing billet box stuff. We spent a few weeks doing RTA stuff. Now it looks like we're getting into RDA stuff. When I get new stuff, it ends up in here. Old stuff ends up here. Basically, if it vapes, it will probably end up in this build stream at some point, you know? Anyway, appreciate you guys. Uh, what we're going to hear now is the intro in reverse. Uh, I would suggest listening to it because uh, I think it sounds better. And, you know, you might hear some uh, satanic, uh, you know, subliminal backwards messages, which, look, that's always fun, you know? <laughs> that's always fun. Anyway, I appreciate you guys more than you know. And uh, thank you for coming out to the build stream. No TBN tomorrow, but I will have some uh, other uploads going on. But I'll see you on the vlog on Thursday, you guys. Smash that like button. Be excellent to each other. And remember that vaping is absolutely, empirically way, way better for your body and for your mind than burning and inhaling deadly combustible tobacco cigarettes. So no matter what's in your hand, you guys, absolutely. Let's keep on vaping. Be excellent to each other. Peace, you guys.